Ladies and gentlemen, nerdy girl, how are you all doing? Today, uh, I'm coming home from a long trip to, from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Okay, it's that time of the month, and it's time for a monthly meeting of engineers and musicians. But I have a treat for you because this is going to be the third video that I'm uploading where I am meeting a celebrity in person or at least a person that was on TV. You guys have probably watched uh, um, the TV commercial for uh, Sprint. Um, anyway. watched the Sprint commercial, you've probably seen uh, a gentleman by the name of Sam Bumuyahed. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I asked him. I'm not good at It's some kind of an Islamic name. But anyway, um, the guy is Lebanese and uh, he's the owner and chief engineer of studio 2020 and this is our monthly meeting and uh, all of you ladies and gentlemen enjoy sprint store here we are 2020 concord place here he is sam the sprint guy <laughs> Yes, I am. No, maybe. Here's how it looks. Hi, Sam. Hello. This is we're waiting. Our, we, were, we were waiting for you. Our meeting at Sam's studio, 2020. Pick out the time, of course. Engineers who are award winning. There are usually about 10 to 12 students, and then we have about 10 to 12 musicians. We av we're averaging larger numbers now, and it's an exciting thing because it means that we're combining, we're coming together, we're moving forward with our community. So thank you all for coming out tonight. A round of applause for yourself. Former president of the years, and I've run three different recording studios, but right now I'm back with the mobile fidelity people doing work for them. Hi, I'm Paul Fisher, and I'm still starting a project studio, and I'm going to see what I can get away with, legally speaking, in my current apartment. And, <laughs> and I'm looking to do some session vocals. Hi, I'm Katrina, and I am um, sound engineer at in, uh, United Church of Rogers Park, and uh, I play the piano, and I got a degree from, from Purdue, and I play the piano as well. You're next. I'm Kirk, better known as Kaku. I'm a musician. Uh, do 50% audio live and recording. Uh, House of Apocalypse down in Pilsen. Come see us once a month. We'll do a show once a month down there. I also do. I have a park district, and I've done a lot of therapeutic uses of music. That was my degree at DePaul, my master's, and uh, do a lot of early childhood music, children's records. That. But uh, I'm also in a lot of different bands and been a musician and a performer. Mm -hmm. Produce music like in a lot of different places, like in the Louis and like whatever. So, acres to miles, it, it makers. This is Glenn. I'm a former product designer and software guy for uh, Roland back in the day. So I'm just trying to stay involved with everybody that's in the community. I'm working on some home recording projects in the uh, home studio. Yeah. Skip sound. Always. Oh. <laughs> I don't count. Nope. <laughs> uh, I'm RPM. Uh, I'm a recording artist here, actually, with Sam and Studio 2020. I got an album dropping on 420. You are not going to make us buy your mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an adjunct professor at SAE College. I teach there. What else do I do? Um, I do live sound oh, for two houses of worship. I got the guy at the table. And I'm sorry. So, when you go outside, when it sounds nice in here, you go outside, it's so much bass. But when it sounds good outside, you bring it in, it's not enough bass. So, you know, uh, because that room, it's 
that's not a rectangle you see it has a it has a you know, kind of shape. Mm -hmm. So that kind of plays into it. But now we are very happy. And uh, yeah, yeah. like when people talk, you know, we have facts, right? Yeah. I mean, I think you said studios. Studios, right. Yeah. So you know you can have whatever monitors you want, right? You can have whatever if the room is lying to you, but unless you're gonna go really low because the room doesn't get into the action. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you're not you Well know. Sam has a bunch of absorbers in the control room, like scattered around you see these boxes around the around the sides of the control room. <coughs> they have activated charcoal in them. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. and it's a kind of a different kind of absorber. Yeah, for exactly. low frequencies. Like well, right. It's it's exactly. it's a pretty cool way to absorb low frequencies. And low frequencies are like the hardest thing to control right. in a studio and to get right. right. So Sam did a cool thing by hiring the cats from right. California to come in and analyze right. his room and yeah. take care of the low frequency problem, which every room has. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and that kind of problem is really hard to deal with. Right. So and the solution the they have in there is probably pretty good. Right. So you and might want to check it out. Yeah, yeah, I can show one. Mm -hmm. Like in the back, too, we have these, these diffusers. Yeah. They go up there a lot. 200. 200, uh, no, yeah. they are up to 200 hertz. Yeah, but where well, they get down to is what's really important. That's the beginning of mid-range. And under, under them, there is absorbers too. Right. For the yeah. yeah. We used to build yeah. base diffusers. Yeah. We said free yeah. food. Yeah, free food, yeah. So this is this is That's why I love about ears, the food. So, Sam, your absorbers on the wall, they'll swing in and out. And how sensitive is that is to the room? And you also use elbows in here. Yeah, you, they are kind of sensitive, and if I need more light, like I said, I have wood, wood things, I just put like, some more wood in there if I want more of that. More light. And how light often, count. you know, if you're recording a rock band, I'm going to, you know, <coughs> do you use those, or is this more in like, form like a more acoustic thing where it's much more sensitive? I mean, how often do you have to, like, I play with it? Not, not so much, because usually what that's they've been here since we started, and they really... They have, they have like the, the yellow fire thing, I don't know what they call those in, in the phones, the like yeah. one inch. So they take something out, but they don't take too much out. So when you change them, it's, you hear a little bit more like light. So is all the corning that is what we have like that? What is that? All the corning information? Five yeah. Five you know, the, the, the yellow, yeah, the yellow corning, yeah. 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 And, uh, but I found out once we put these, oh, these phones up there, that kind of brought a lot of warmth into the room to try that high sharp frequency. And my next thing is to, to put wood all over the, the wall. That's a desired one. Oh, this, in this room? In this room. In, in addition to... I mean, it's tunable right now. What is that? It's tunable. It's tunable. Yeah, you can go and Some sort of... So this is about sound deadening material. So you're still, you're still getting, dry, you're still getting drywall sound, you say. Yeah, there's some yeah, I mean, I over here. Hi, Debbie. This is, uh, Hi, Pavel. And here's me again. So these are traps. They almost look like gobos, but I can't. Yeah, they're not. They, they're filled, with, they're filled or, or partially filled with, with carbon, uh, uh, carbon, activated carbon pellets. Cool. Suppose the, the base goes in and it gets phased out, right? Yeah, so it, it absorbs the base. They have to be well, close to the wall because that's where the pressure builds in. Right, right. Yeah. And in the, uh, in the back, they are... I think these ones are called the ACB10, these are the ones that are different, so different frequencies, that's what they have to be like behind the speakers. And uh, they did make... Uh, a little deeper, I think. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So, uh, like before, without these guys in here, if you play something in the back, or you just... No, if you don't hear that. And, uh, like, so... Uh, look, if I listen to here. my speaker... Some music. Let's see.
should I do it again and again? Should I wash my hands now? The one selection. So Sam, is one of those speakers like a passive radiator or are they both woofers? Which ones? Like those speakers, you said one of them is a passive radiator, right? You know, these two here is, uh, these are, uh, they are, there's a crossover, I think. The uh, inside oh. uh, uh, woofer goes up to 150, from 32 to 150. Oh. And then the other guy takes over for the mid range and mid highs, and then the tweeter, that's, uh, that's a ribbon tweeter that takes care of the very, that's why yeah. they sound more open, let's say, than the mile. Yeah. They sound nicer than yeah. the miles as far as open. Uh, but, you have to be careful that one, because sometimes stuff sounds too good already, you know, you have to kind of check it out. Tweak so, it, yeah. So, you know, it doesn't like it, but it doesn't sound too nice. Again. But I bet those things go down to 15 hertz, right? Which Even ones? Those speakers? Those ones? Yeah. They support, in schema it says they go down to 32, but I oh, can 32. I hear stuff about 25, 25, something you could hear stuff, maybe yeah. like have whatever. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think they go a little bit under 32, yeah. you know. There's one open reel, reel to reel. As long as you don't email me. Here is another open reel, reel to reel, and here are the view meters. A couple pieces here and And an up close of the board. I wanted to get an up close of the board. That's what I do at my tree. I work at a church. I work at a church. United Church of Rogers Park. Hi, everybody. That's for Elise. And here are the amps. Nice Marshall amp. Okie dokie. In, of course, all places, the washroom. Hello. Nice piano. Pianino. Piano forte. You should know that I brought a charger. I'm nerdy girl after all. And this is just another storage. It's still a joy. Yeah. But people are still making this cool. <laughs> just different. We just don't know it yet. We, yeah, we don't know what's going to be the thing six to the wall. I'm sorry. An old Bell and Howell projector. Wow. That's pretty cool. I've got some. <laughs> for the dog and for Catherine. This concludes my monthly meeting of engineers and musicians, and uh, I'm happy to meet at least this year in this six-month time period, our third uh, TV personality, or if you want to say, uh, person who did a commercial for a famous cell phone company. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. And ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.